Hey guys, this is Danielle from So Much Crafting and I am back with a different kind of plan with me. I was going to do a weekly plan with me again this week, but my weekly plan with me's are pretty much the same every week. I'll probably go ahead and do one again next week after I've archived the month of May and moved into June for this week. But I thought I would go ahead and do a monthly plan with me for the month of June. I don't think I've ever done a monthly plan with me. I actually, in my A5, only use pin. I use these Stadler pins. I have a color coding system and I'm just going to walk through and show you how I kind of set up the month. First, let me get this opened up here. And truth be told, I actually keep a lot of our appointments and things on iCal. Um, my husband and I use, um, Apple products across the board. And so it works really well to have iCal set up. I can share calendars with him, but I do like to have a hard copy in my A5 planner. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer some of that information over to this and then see what else I need to add. So I'm going to pull out the pens that I use. This pink is for business related things. Black is for federal holidays, um, or I guess Father's Day this month. Let's see, I'm gonna use this blue color for church events. I use this teal for family, something that affects like the whole family. And it seems like I use one more color. Let me look back at the last couple of months. Maybe that's it. I don't see another color offhand in here. So I think that I've used this like purpley color if it's just me but like a like an appointment just for me but lately I've been using the green for my OB appointments I'm just going to keep it with that so first let me put Father's Day on June 20th start with that and like I said I usually use this for federal holidays so like on July 4th well July 4th is a Sunday but I would put Independence Day and then I would put the PO closed here for the post office so that I remember that we can't ship on that day. Um, so that is it for this black color. You'll see this is going to be a super fast plan with me because basically it's, it's just pretty easy going. I had an appointment... at 2.45, that's a telehealth appointment. And I have one more appointment scheduled. I don't remember if it's Friday the 18th or it's sometime this week, it's my 36 week OB appointment, but I don't have it written in my phone is what I'm using to record. So I'm not gonna actually write that one in yet. And I'll have to add that one later. I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this business stuff. We have already predated 2022 inserts. But I like to jot down when our goal date for dating as well as proofing is just so that I have it at a glance. Now, like I said, um, I am 34 weeks tomorrow pregnant with our fourth baby. And so we actually worked ahead and I have all the proofing due as or done as well. So the, these two things are already done, but I do want to have them on the calendar um, just for future reference for next year or whatnot. When did we do these things? I don't usually, I want to say that we usually have these things done in July, but because I'm due in July, I we bumped it up. And then this Friday is our Q2 TN clearance. And our Q4 release will be on the next week, but let me, before we do that, switch over. Let's see. Oh, I didn't put our anniversary on here or birthdays. I need to think, I need to have a color for that. So first let me do the senior camp. This doesn't affect my family personally, but I did want to have it on my calendar for just so that I can pray for the kids and the sponsors going. And then we also have junior camp as well as know like what responsibilities and whatnot we might need to pick up because 
we are not going to be attending. So junior camp is then. We have, well not we, I'm not a man, but men and boys cookout on the 25th. Let's see. Um, I feel like there's something else going on. Let me go back and add this Q4 TN release here. And let's see. Like I said, I don't have a color specifically for birthdays or like my husband and my anniversary is this month. Let's do evening fellowship. Um, part of me wants to add it because it's our anniversary and my husband's birthday and my son's birthday. I just don't know what color I want to use for those things. I think I might have I done it before? I guess I haven't. Maybe I'll just... It's not really a holiday, so I don't want it in that. I guess I could use this purple like I had said. Maybe that's what I'll do. So Eli's... Two. My third baby turns two. And my husband birthday is the 17th. This is our anniversary here. 11 years on June 12th. And then I know we have other birthdays, but those are my immediate family. I think I'm just going to leave leave those. June is a very busy birthday month. I have a birthday, a family member here, a family member fourth, the 16th. I know I'm going to end up forgetting somebody. The 26th, um, the 30th, we have good friends whose daughter, daughters have a birthday. I think I have a nephew on the 30th. Anyway, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to add everybody because there's just so many. Um, but I think that's it. Let me double check my, like I said, I have everything on iCal as well. And I think that's everything. I need to add my appointment will be this week. And then at that appointment, I will schedule, or maybe I'll call before then and schedule my 37, 38. And then, you know, the next two appointments as well. But I'm not going to write those in. I know it's not on the 17th, but I don't remember if it's the 16th or 18th. So I um, need to check my card. I don't even think I put it in iCal yet. So I need to check that and add that. And then I'll add those other two appointments. Um, or it might be July 1st. But anyway, add those appointments as the month goes on. And that's it. That's, that's seriously, that's all I do in my monthlies is it's so basic, but it works. I can flip open to it very easily in my planner. Um, you know, I have my, my weekly or my dailies here and then I just flip open. I have the, an extra ruler page marker back on the month and I will, um, keep track of, Keep track of those dates and whatnot so I can easily flip back to that through the month or as I'm, you know, referencing for daily planning or even weekly planning if I ever do those. Weekly inserts again, I can flip back to my, my monthlies or I can, I sometimes I, like I said, sometimes I will use iCal to um, even go back and look at, I will update it a little bit more. I use iCal for content planning and for, um, and whatnot with work. So sometimes it's a little bit more up to date and then I'll go back and add things to the paper pages, the paper inserts later on. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this super short plan with me video and we will see you guys again next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.